With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question given here is if two vertices of a triangle are 0, 2 and 4, 3 and its auto center is 0, 0, then the third vertex of the triangle lies in A option is first quadrant, B option is second quadrant. C option is third quadrant and D option is fourth quadrant. So for this, first of all, we will draw the triangle. So let this is the triangle and this point is A, this point is B and let this point is C. Let A point is 0, 2, B point is 4, 3 and let C point be some H, K and and the vertex, uh, sorry, and ortho center is the coordinate of ortho center is 0, 0. What is ortho center? Ortho center is the intersection point of the altitudes of altitudes on all the sides of the triangle. So, first of all, we will draw the altitudes for all the sides. So, on side AC, altitude will be this, then on side AB. The altitude will be this. Then on side BC, the altitude will be like this. So, auto center will be point. Let auto center is point O, whose coordinate are 0, 0. And auto center is the, is the intersection point of all the altitudes of the triangle. Now, if we see that, these all are perpendicular, this is perpendicular, this is perpendicular and this is also perpendicular on side BC. Therefore, we can say that this AB line and this OC line is perpendicular to each other. Therefore, the product of this slope will be equal to minus 1. So, slope of AB, M, AB into slope of OC, its product will be equal to minus 1. Now, what is slope of AB? Slope of AB line is, this will be, 3 minus 2 from the formula y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. 3 minus 2 divided by 4 minus 0 into slope of line OC. OC will be k minus 0, k minus 0 divided by h minus 0 equals to minus 1. So from here we get k divided by 4h is equals to minus 1. So from this we can say that the coordinates k and h will have the opposite sign. If k is positive, then h is negative and if h is positive, then k will be negative. So, if the point h, comma k will either lie in second quadrant or in fourth quadrant. Now, if we see the slope of line OA, so slope of line OA will be given as slope of OA. M of OA will be equals to point O is 0, 2 and this is 0, 0. So, slope will be y con 2 minus 0 divided by 0 minus 0. 2 minus 0 divided by 0 minus 0 which is coming to infinity. Now, this line OA is perpendicular to BC. Therefore, with M, so we have now M OA into M of BC will be equals to minus 1. Now we have slope of OA is infinite into M of BC is equals to minus 1. So slope of BC will be equals to minus 1 divided by infinity which is equals to 0. So slope of BC will be equals to 0. Now what is slope of BC? Slope of BC is point B is 4 comma 3 and C is H comma K. So this will be BC slope is y2 minus y1 means k minus 3 divided by h minus 4. This is equals to 0. Now solving this we get k minus 3 is equals to 0. From this we are getting k is equals to 3. That means k coordinate is positive. Now from this equation k upon 4h is equals to minus 1. We can calculate the value of h also. So we have k divided by 4h is equals to minus 1, putting k is equals to 3. 3 divided by 4h is equals to minus 1. So, from this, we are getting 4h 
is equals to minus 3. That means h is equals to minus 3 by 4. Therefore, we have k is greater than 0 and h is and we have h is less than 0. That means this h comma k means point c will lie in second quadrant. Therefore, we can say that point c will lie in second quadrant because c point was h comma k. Now h is what? Less than 0 means x coordinate is less than 0 and k is greater than 0. So y coordinate is positive. Therefore point c will lie in second quadrant. Now that means if we check the options we are getting option number option number b is the correct answer second quadrant is the correct answer thank you students for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today